this individual asks about PSA. I haven't said too much about PSA so far, other than it wasn't a great strategy uh, when combined with um, biopsy uh, as a screening uh, method. In fact, it wasn't a great strategy um, when combined with biopsy as a diagnostic strategy. So historically, if you presented with a high PSA, um, most men then went on to biopsy. There was nothing else that we had available that could discriminate men with clinically significant cancer versus men without. Um, that biopsy was not targeted to anything because we didn't have anything that told us where the cancer was. And those biopsies went throughout the prostate. We know that that was very inaccurate. And we know now, we didn't know then, that many men that had prostate cancer had their diagnosis missed because the biopsies just weren't sent to the right part of the prostate. And we now know that a lot of the cancers actually um, evade that type of sampling. So when you um, biopsy randomly, you tend to miss the anterior or the front part of the prostate in the midline that sits behind the urethra. It's just anatomically very hard to get at. And we now know that 20, maybe 30% of cancers sit in that anterior zone and we're just beyond the reach of original biopsy. So we told men that they were clear uh, when indeed they were not. And of course, um, these days, um, when you combine PSA uh, with an MRI, uh, you've actually got information on location and the MRI will tell you exactly where the cancer is likely to be and we can direct um, cause to it. If those biopsies come back negative, we tend to repeat the MRI in a year just to make sure. And if there's any growth or increase in size of the lesion, we'll offer rebiopsy. So very, very few men with clinically significant disease will now have their diagnosis missed. And that's really, uh, really important in both a diagnostic uh, risk stratification uh, setting, in other words, what we do in hospitals, uh, and also in a screening setting, what we might be doing in the community uh, in the future.